I regret that I ever loved you, Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye. You were my heart's desire, but it was my mistake. I was lost in your beauty and wit, ignoring the red flags written all over the walls. You took my heart for granted, never looking back after I had given it away. My days with you are a distant memory, but those tears still linger. I was too enraptured with you to realize that you were using me, playing games and stringing along my emotions. You had me fooled with your charms, but I opened my eyes too late to your deception. It still breaks my heart realizing I invested so much into something that was never real. I should have never allowed myself to fall in love with two people who did not want me back. I invested my heart, soul and time into something that wasn't meant to have a future. I had been blindsided by the excitement of a new relationship, unaware of the heartache that was to come. At the time, I was so sure of our bond, disregarding any sign that our love would eventually blow away in the wind. I yearned for the days spent in your arms, forgetting that what I was feeling was all a lie. If I could turn back time, I would never have allowed myself to be fooled by your fake hits. I was taken advantage of by people only looking for a convenient distraction. I wish I had seen the truth sooner, instead of getting lost in the lies you both told me. As much as I miss the times we shared together, I regret ever loving you Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye. I refused to give up on something that had been doomed since the start. I should have known that you were never really interested in me, instead of yearning for an impossible future. I was so sure that I was in love, but all that was left in the end was hurt and confusion. My mistake was to love you, Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye, a decision I'll never forgive myself for. If I had noticed the signs, I may have been able to avoid the pain I'm feeling today. You both taught me an important lesson in life, that sometimes love isn't enough to conquer all. Your fickle hearts had no space for commitment, I was the one suffering in the aftermath. Ironic that the same love that I thought was real and true, was the one that left me feeling broken. Looking back, I realized that I had been a fool, believing something never meant to be.